Hi, I'm Natalie Jones, uh, I'm a registered manager at the Eastside Residential Home in Way. Hi, I'm Chloe Anderson, we support here at the Eastside in Way. And I'm Charlotte Anthony, I'm a year in today and I'm the domestic support worker. So, Eastside Residential Home, uh, it's a 23 bedded home. Um, all our residents do have a diagnosis of dementia. Um, most of our residents have lived here for quite some time um, and we class them as our family. What we try to do here at Eastside is we, um, the activities that we do is we use the asset based approach. So it's about having that different conversation with residents and um, about what they want. Uh, and then what happened was um, we come up with the event of HMF Eastside. Side. So with HMF Eastside, is what we did is we did a five day cruise. Within that five day cruise, what we did is, you know, it gave residents to obviously the opportunity to experience different cultures, to experience different cuisines, but to be able to visit places that they wished that they had visited when they were younger, or places that they had visited that they wished to go back to. The, the idea with the HMS cruise was to bring the holiday back to our residents, and obviously with the different theme we had, we had all the decorations, but we had a lot of visual pictures. And colours, we had different activities, we had darts, we had crazy golf, so we were getting all our residents active, we were getting the circulation going and stimulating the brain because a lot of our behaviour of our residents changed within that week because they weren't bored, they were all participating in different things and we saw a different attitude from them. They were quite excited each morning as well to see which port they were dropping off to see what activities um, were going on during the day, what types of food they were going to be trying, you know, all the activities, all the staff um, really got involved um, by just like, going out and buying different things, like clothes for that day, accessories, um, even the, you know, the activities they were going out of the wrong pocket, just to provide a really good day each of the five days for our residents. Yeah. Because of the deal as well, we were able to use more resources from the community. And linking to all the different things we could get volunteering in our home. And we've not been able to use the community as much as obviously we have since I've started working here. Um, and I've noticed obviously we take a lot more positive risks here as well because obviously we can use the community and do different activities where a lot of the time when I worked in our home we wouldn't take that risk of you know getting up dancing and in case someone broke hip or something or doing crazy golf in the garden and darts and I feel like there's more opportunities. I feel like we've got the opportunities to be creative. I don't think there's things like stopping about health and safety risks. I think that it's just opened up to be, do better activities and also get our residents involved in something that in years like, that have gone by, we might have been like, no, we can't really do that. Um, I feel like there's a lot more we can do. I mean, for us, you know, it's, you know, we want our residents to be happy, we want the days to be fulfilled, you know, we want, we want, we want to do what they want us, what they want us to actually do. So, you know, through the different conversations, I mean, the HMF East side, you know, that was really driven by you know, the staff team, who were really, really close with the residents. So actually say, you know, what do you want? What do you want us to do for this event? And it was, yeah, we want to try different foods. Well, do you know what? I want to go away because I've never been there before. So it was, how can we bring that experience? You know, how can we, how can we make it real? How can we make it real for the residents? I've, uh, I saw a big difference as well in some of our residents uh, during like, our activities, especially the, um, the cruise week. Because some residents isolate themselves, but in that week we saw them to quite the rooms more, try different things, get involved in activities, maybe try a bit of food that they've never tried before and might be very like. Because um, we do have a few residents that will just sit in the rooms, but hearing the music and staff going in each morning, like, uh, good morning, we're in Hawaii this morning. I think that has just put a smile on the face and just made them want to get up and get involved. We were in the rooms of conversation for, you know, days after the, the, after, after the event. So for now, I think it's, you know, what is our next thing yeah. that we're going to plan um, to do for the residents. Um, you know, obviously that discussion with them is, will depend on what we do next. And we've definitely got to top it. <laughs> <laughs>